comparables and its implementation of multiples method is a very common approach for evaluating privately held companies. The comparables approach can be applied in the context of venture capital either in the investment stage or considering the exit stage. The idea of a venture capital investment is that the venture capitalist invests money into a company and they want to help that company to grow and in five or some years the investor, the venture capitalist, will sell their shares for profit. We can calculate the valuation based on the time of investment or time of the exit of the venture capitalist. The idea of these investment comparables is that we look at past venture capital deals that are similar to the deal that we are being proposed and then we compare. Is our deal better or worse than these comparable deals? That provides us some idea of the valuation of the company. Exit comparables, on the other hand, look at cases where the investment target has already exited or the investor has exited from the investment target. For example, if a company does an initial public offering and the venture capitalist sells their shares at that point, we would calculate the exit value by taking the share price of the company at the time of the venture capitalist exit, multiply it with total shares and that gives us the valuation. We can also, so when we have the valuations of comparable companies, we calculate multiples. So we look at, for example, what's the value divided by revenues, value divided by earnings uh, before income taxes. And then we use these multiples and calculate the company value or, or the value of our company using this technique. Let's take a look at in, in more detail what this might look like. The example comes, comes from a Rin and Hellman book. So this is a, a Investment comparables. The idea is that uh, if you uh, are looking for an investment, you look for comparable investments and uh, these uh, are supposed to be comparable to the case company that the authors are discussing. The valuations are between um, roughly in the three to three million ballpark, some are higher, some are lower. And then uh, you can infer that the two million valuation is a bit lower than the average deal, but it's still in the right ballpark. The problem with this kind of uh, exit comparable or investment comparables analysis is that it does not really depend on anything that the company does. So nothing here that the company does, no revenues, no growth or anything influences the, the prices of these prior exits. So that's the first disadvantage. It does not take really the information from the investment target into consideration. The second problem is that locating uh, relevant deals can be difficult. While venture capital deals are collected in some databases, finding the relevant ones from a database could be a challenge. And also not all deals are listed in a database that an entrepreneur would have access to. So this is probably not as commonly used as the other comparables technique. The other comparables technique is the exit comparables. So we look at companies that have exited and here is the, um, are some co uh, hypothetical companies that have made an exit. We have data about them. We have how long the com how old the company was at the time of the exit. What was the, uh, the fund, how much funding they got? What was the value at exit? So if the company was stock listed, what was the total price of, of that company, including all the stocks? If it was sold to another company, a strategic investor typically, then what was the sales price? And then we have uh, revenues at exit, we have uh, earnings at exit, and we calculate revenue uh, multipliers and earning multipliers. The idea of a revenue multiplier is that we take the valuation, 40 million, we divide it by the uh, revenues, 30 million, and that gives us a ratio 1.3. Now we can use that ratio to multiply the revenues of our company to get an estimate of the value of our company. So we have these different revenue multipliers from 1.3, 12.5, uh, 0 0.8, 1.23, 1.5 should be uh, like the typical value. And then we have these uh, price per earnings multipliers between vary between three and 15. Then we apply these multipliers to do this kind of scenario analysis or projections. So we can have um, the revenue multipliers with the average, median, highest and lowest. We have the PE multiplier, we have the average, um, median, highest and lowest. Then we have a projection. I'll talk more about projections and how they're calculated. Uh, a projected value or projected uh, funding at 
exit, our projected revenue at exit, and our net earnings at exit, and then uh, we calculate these valuation estimates. So we can calculate the average, multi average value here by multiplying the uh, amount of revenues, 21 million, with the average revenue multiplier, which is three, so we get 73 million. 21 times three is uh, about 70 million. Then we can uh, calculate the same with earnings, so the average earnings multiplier is 8 and 3 million multiplied by 8 gives us 27 million. Then we can do the same thing using the median and we get four different estimates. We can probably rule out this as an outlier and this would give us a ballpark estimate that our company's exit value would be about 25 million dollars, something like that. So these are used to determine the exit values and then the venture capital method that I talk about in another video is used to uh, calculate the present value based on the exit value.